beauty, man. What up, mud people? So, if you're wondering why I'm in this beautiful apartment over here, I'm actually here for Ramit's uh, forefront uh, um, event. Ugh, such a beautiful, I got so wowed by this beautiful view, man. But this whole week, I've literally been working nonstop. I believe I caught the flu because I got the body chills, body aches. Been a miserable time for me, but you know, like, I really want to go to this event. I thought, you know, this is like a once in a lifetime event for me. You know, how off more, how many more of these days can I just go off to Chicago and do things myself? Even my eyes all fucked up, I have a sty. Why I came to this event? Cause other than following me for a few years now, is that I really want to remember what a rich life is again, you know? Because I'm like caught up just paying bills all the time. I'm investing but it's not very fulfilling to me. It's been such a journey to get here. I've literally spent so much time in front of a heater, trying to check prescriptions, dealing with chills. You know, it's not very fun, but you know, it feels very rewarding when you know that you worked very hard for something and now it's in front. Now I get to enjoy this moment. <coughs> I'm probably gonna take some Tylenol to deal with some of the fevers. Pretty happy to be here, but like my immune system is just like falling apart right now. So one step at a time, I totally look like shit. I'm like bloated, I'm pale, but gotta make the most of it. Oh, and I'm gonna take the shuttle right now because Chicago is a windy ass city and it is freezing. I tried walking at 7 Eleven. Imagine doing that when you got chills. No, thank you. Fuck that. So I'm tri it's almost 3.30. Going to go downstairs and do the Mata shuttle. Hey, how are you? What's up? Ooh, so mother fancy. Ooh, snacks. Dang, magic. Think of a card. Any card in the deck except the Ace of Spades, that's the most commonly thought of card. You got one? Yeah. Look, I'm not going to touch the deck again. What card do you think you have? Say it out loud. Ace of Diamonds. Maybe everybody names the Ace of Diamonds. I'm not saying they do. But would you like to change your mind? And I'm not yes. trying to. To what? Six of clubs. Six of clubs. Is that your final answer? Yeah. What are you doing again? Do you want to pick again? Or you can or you don't have to. I want the six of clubs. Give me an effort between one and five. Four. It was very serious. She's like, four. Four. <laughs> First, I'll make a four appear on top of the deck. <laughs> yeah! That's not even the magic part. That's just showing off. Okay, uh, you said the, what was your second card again? It was the six of clubs. Okay, and the number four. So one, that's our first four. One, two, three. And if under that, the fourth card is the six of clubs. Watch. I'm going to take my clothes off. This works. <laughs> You should keep them on. <laughs> <laughs> Six yeah! Damn! Oh, yeah. That's some crazy. Hey, seriously, yeah. like, high five. Yeah. I love it. And if you do touch that, just so you know. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> so as you saw earlier, there's like a lot of cool people. We just ran into a magician. But honestly, uh, I've been meeting like a lot of cool people like this girl. She did her first product launch and made 13,000 today, which was freaking ridiculous, man. And uh, what it really teaches me is that, you know, when you're starting something new, it's so important to have good support, you know? And uh, it made me really look into actually getting coaching, um, starting an online business again, and going back to my grassroots, right? Hopefully by tomorrow, everything will be Gucci, you know? And um, I met a lot of cool people so far, you know? And it's really inspired me to really start getting off my ass. And this is something I really want to do in life, that it's important. And I think that's a purpose of like events like these, is just because so often, like, how many, how many times in my life have I met people that read the same articles as me, have the same interests, you know? It's not very often, so a lot of these people, you just instantly connect, you know? And what I'm realizing is that for my, most of my life is, I've just been honestly connecting with mostly Asian people, right? But when you can connect with a common 
mentality and stuff, that's so much better. Anyways, I'm going to get back to networking. Hopefully, I don't die from this cough anymore. And I'll talk to you later. Dude, so they just called us for dinner right now, and this shit is all as fuck. We got like uh, prime rib back there. We got all sorts of stuff. So it's pretty crazy how what a fancy. We got even got the the plate, the plate fire. Man. Yo, what up, muddy people? So I had to leave early. I was feeling hella sick, man. <clears throat> like I'm getting chills right now. Everything is like ugh, feels like it's reverting, man. And I just had to leave. It sucks because I made so much money for this event. They're playing some like Daddy Yucky, and I was like, yeah, but I can't do it. I usually am always the first one to volunteer for any jokes or anything like that. But today, I was just, this is why my, my hood is on because I'm freezing right now. Not a fun time having the flu, dude. Um, yeah, this fucking sucks. In the end, I didn't meet as many people as I wanted to. I still met people, I tried my best, my 100% best. <laughs> man, I just gotta let myself rest, man. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go tomorrow. I'm like really not feeling it. Um, I hate this, man, because I spent so much money, at least like a K to go to this. As I was talking to people too, my mind would just blank out sometimes. I found myself just like searching for words, but I couldn't push it out. I, I love people, man, I'm extrovert, but man, today was really hard. Anyways guys, I'm gonna head to sleep. Got my vitamin water here. I'm actually naked. Good morning, y'all. Feeling a bit better today. I got this lovely view. Today we actually get to see Rumi and he's opening the event today. I'm gonna head over right now and should be cool because I've never seen him in real life and it's gonna be a really cool experience to follow this person I've been following him since like college and to finally see him in real life is gonna be a really cool experience so can't wait let's go I'm feeling a little bit better today um, but yeah all right let's go just got to the event and I see this over here what the heck so apparently you can schedule like your on-camera interview they basically do a mock interview as if you're on media and they're going to publish on CNN too. So I'm going to try it see what's on. Alright, good morning. Wow, it's a lot more fun to talk to people in real life. Damn, so... I <laughs> saw so Ramit's keynote and it's fucking amazing. Ramit's keynote was amazing, dude. Um, I forgot to record the rest of the event, but man, um, it was amazing. It really taught me to sort of rewrite the stories that we tell ourselves and what people tell us as well, you know? And for me, the script I tell myself is like, I'm unattractive, girls don't find me attractive, I am not desired, but I need to rewrite that. Or like, I can't be a successful business owner, I'll be a pharmacist all my life. I need to rewrite that. I'm actually not feeling too well. I'm, I want to go to the gala. I'm not feeling too well. I've been coughing every single 10 seconds and I'm looking for a cough suppressant. But I'm freaking freezing in, uh, in Chicago right now, so I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven, grab something, and then head out to the gala for a bit and then leave. Fashionably late. Uh, I went to 7-Eleven real quick. Bought some mother cough drops to soothe my throat. They didn't have 
my favorite Delsum, but they had a uh, Mucin XDM, coconut water, and vitamin zero, and vitamin water zero. So the reason why I got those two things as well is just because I've just been drinking water and stuff all day. I'm just worried that I'm not hydrated enough uh, since I'm like losing so much fluid. I'm pissing like a motherfucker. So I want to make sure that I'm getting, uh, I'm not losing all my electrolyte, baby. Anyways, I gotta start showering and um, I'm gonna start showering and gotta do the iron so I can look fresh to death, motherfucker. So right now, I'm headed to the gala. Everybody on this bus right now, they're all like an outlet as well. What the fuck? What the fuck? Ah, damn. It's like the rock, it's like that movie Rocky right now. Yeah. <laughs> Ever have this gala in the middle of a museum? I'm playing my uh, Calvin Harris song right now with Frank Ocean. Yeah, but I love this guy. Oh, look over here. We got the mother food over here. Damn. So, this is uh, pretty cool. Wait for it. Oh damn! Yeah, so That's you? Holy <laughs> shit! Holy shit! So I pride awesome. myself on this shit, so yeah. <laughs> what would you want to say to me? So one of the cool people I met during this gala is April with a Y. No. April with a Y! April with a Y. That's how I... Like, I'm really bad at remembering names, and that's how I try to remember. You will remember now. Yeah. But April actually did something that I always wanted to do, that I've talked about to you guys about writing a book. You actually yes. wrote a book, right? I did! Isn't that crazy? Shit! Oh, thank you very Engineering much. nerd turned author. What? Yeah. So, guys, stay tuned to my He's going to write one. I'm going to hold him accountable to Dang. it. Are you going to join her accountability group? No. Your accountability? You started an accountability group? Yeah. I am a part, so April has been a very good, April's been a good friend. I'm doing a testimonial. <laughs> Damn, shameless plugs on my... So I just met her a couple days ago, and I'm trying to start my business right now. It's called Weekend Jet Setters. <laughs> He's plugging himself too. <laughs> and... Dude. I'm, I'm a little drunk. I, no, you gotta, you gotta give me an affiliate deal. <laughs> Did you tell her about my affiliate thing? No. Oh, sorry. Um, basically for referring people, I want uh, like 50% of the profit because daddy's got to pay the bills. Damn. All this shameless book. You told me, you told me, she, she told, earlier she told me about her book too. But no, no, in all honesty, like, yeah. this girl's very passionate about her job. Same passionate. Yeah, passionate. And she's, she has, passion, son. And I'm like, God, I'm just really like nervous she, She's very, she has a lot of integrity and she's an odd. You got integrity, girl. I do. I do. She also could dance apparently, but she doesn't dance tonight, so. Uh, Standing in for. Of course you can dance. You're, you're Pilo Pilo, man. She was a cheerleader. Pilo Pilo. Pilo Pilo. I actually stayed for the whole event. I was trying to talk to Ramit the whole time. But he was like, no fam, too busy. But I understand, man. Yeah, I got to meet really cool people tonight. And I think um, tonight was the first night I really had fun. And where I wasn't like coughing up a fucking storm, dude. Goodbye, beautiful view. This is it. Today is the last day. I'm leaving this hotel room. Um, it was really cool so far. So good news. Uh, I was walking outside, and I don't feel cold for once. It's beautiful, dude. So I think later in the day, I'll actually explore uh, parts of Chicago after the event and meet up with some of my friends. Good morning, everyone. Good morning.